Hey y'all, if you live in Florida and are thinking about putting in a butterfly garden for monarch butterflies, well, first of all, it's a great idea. And second, I'm gonna tell you all about milkweed and what milkweeds you should plant in your Florida garden. These beautiful creatures have lost a lot of their habitat, but we can give a lot of it back simply by adding a couple of monarch friendly plants to your garden because these little guys need all the help they can get to become beautiful butterflies. So we're coming up to where I have my swamp milkweed garden. And you can see here some right here. It's not blooming yet. It blooms mid to late summer. Mine's a little delayed on blooming. It's scientific name is Asclepius incarnata and it is native to Florida. The name Swamp lets you know that it does enjoy water. So I have mine planted in what I call my wetland garden where I put a liner underneath where I planted all of this to hold a little bit more water. And as you can see, everything in my wetland garden is very happy. Now you're not likely going to go to your big box gardening center and find Asclepius incarnata. You will find milkweeds with the word Asclepius on it, but it is not our native milkweed. So you're going to need to research and find where your local native nursery is. If you're in Central Florida, I highly recommend going to the Nectary. They try to always have some swamp milkweed on hand. Another excellent Florida native milkweed is Asclepius tuberosa. This one has less of the cardiac glycosides in it, so you don't normally see a lot of monarchs lay eggs on them, but it works fabulously as an alternate food source in case they eat all of your swamp milkweed. And it flowers beautifully and the butterflies absolutely love the nectar from it. Now, those two milkweeds go through a period of dormancy where they will die back when the temperatures get cooler, but then they'll start growing again when the temperatures warm up. However, in Florida, we tend to have a year-round population of monarchs, especially in South Florida. Central Florida, it's just going to depend on how cool it gets. So the milkweed you want to have on hand for year-round is this next one I'm going to show you. And that would be Asclepius perennis, or aquatic milkweed. I have it planted near my swamp milkweed because it loves water also. And it's just finishing flowering. You can just see one flower left on it, but they are the traditional looking milkweed flowers. This plant is evergreen. It has leaves year round, and this can provide sustenance to monarchs that you have through the cooler season when the tuberosa and incarnata have died back. Now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, those leaves are tiny. They're not ever going to be enough to feed the voracious caterpillars. Well, even though the leaves don't look like much, they are more dense in the nutrients. So the caterpillars don't have to consume as much to feel as full as they would when eating the swamp milkweed. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, Asclepius incarnata, swamp milkweed, main food source for the monarch caterpillars and great place for the monarch butterflies to lay their eggs. Two, Asclepius tuberosa, good food source when you run out of swamp milkweed. <laughs> Three, Asclepius perennis, year-round supply of leaves for the monarch caterpillars. There you go, you're set. Remember, you're gonna have to look at your local native nursery for these plants. So just go to your good friend Google and type in native plant nursery near me and turn on your location services and you will come up with places that you can go buy these fabulous milkweed plants to make your garden a special home for monarch butterflies and give them a little bit of their habitat back. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button. 
and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about butterfly gardening. Oh, and watch the little end clip if you want to see something funny. Hey y'all, if you live in Florida and you're looking to put in